Alright guys, today I'm going to be showing you a really cool card flourish that you can actually use more or less as a card control. So, um, let's say a spectator was to pick a card from the middle, it doesn't matter which one it is. In this case, a three of spades. You take a three of spades and you tell the spectator you are going to lose this in the middle of the pack, but then you snap your fingers and it comes back up to the top. So this is the effect and if you guys want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. Alright, so as you guys saw, this is kind of just a variation on a double undercut. So this really isn't something that you are going to be using on magicians, but maybe something that you can do to impress lay people. Um, you know, it's just a little bit of flourishing. So the way you do this is I'll kind of slow it down for you guys so you guys can see what exactly is going on. And then I'll kind of break it down from there. So essentially, you are taking a random card from the deck and then you're doing a Charlier cut while you flick over the spectator selection and this is kind of exaggerated but as you guys can see the card is going to be a little bit out jogged when you shoot the card over so you're not putting it flush with the deck it's going to be out jogged and then from here you just do a standard double undercut to bring it back to the top and what I mean by uh, putting the cards flush is you're not going to be shooting the card back into the deck where you can't necessarily you know, grab it or get a pinky break or something. So um, I'm not going to be going over the Charlier cut in this video only because it is kind of a beginner move and more like a prerequisite for this type of effect. So uh, the only big thing I'm going to be have to be going over is flicking the card back into the deck. So, you know, there's a lot of different ways that you can go about flicking, um, you know, the spectator's card back over to the deck. So this isn't like I'm saying the correct way, but this is kind of the way I do it. Um, you guys can also look up more videos on how to flick this card over if this doesn't really work out for you. So let's say you have a card, in this case like the Queen of Clubs here, and what I'm doing is I'm taking the card and I'm putting it, in, let's say my right hand here, in the first joint of my middle finger here. And these fingers just kind of follow along, but the main thing that's going on is the card is being, the cards obviously, they have like a natural bend to them. So it's what you're doing is you're pushing with your index finger and with your thumb. Your thumb is kind of going in a little bit, applying more tension. In this way, the card bends up a little bit and essentially the card is flicking out of your hand. Let's say you have a random card here. The card, you should practice just flicking the card. See, once it builds up enough tension, you'll be able to feel it and it can just bend and flick off and essentially you're just kind of catching that in the Charlier cut. So that's the main thing you guys will have to practice. I'll try to go over it one more time but really the card is going over here in your hand. Your thumb is contacting the card right around this edge. You're pushing a little bit with your index and kind of clenching a little bit with your thumb as well. So this way the card builds up tension and then you are shooting it over to the deck. So. Uh, the distance doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be a big distance to the spectators to be impressive. You don't have to be shooting it across across the table unless you obviously get really good at it. But you're really just practicing shooting it over to the deck. And one tip I have is when I shoot the cards this way, they end up kind of going towards the left. And what I mean is I don't catch the cards directly with my hands parallel, but I leave the deck a little bit to the right because when I flick it over, they normally kind of shoot over to the left a little bit, I mean. So once you have that flicking motion down with the card, you can tear it out, flip it, make sure it's face up, and as you tell the spectators, okay, we're gonna go ahead and lose your card in the middle, that is when you just break off the first portion of the deck here for the one-handed cut. So they pick a card, you show it, you say, look, let's lose this card in the middle, and now you shoot the card right when this portion is kind of in this pyramid and then you flick it over. So what I mean, I'll try to do that one more time. You take the card, you say I'm gonna lose this card in the middle and as you're in this kind of setup where the cards haven't really, you have not let go with your index finger so there's still, the top has kind of cleared it. This is when you kind of just shoot the card over and essentially you're trying to shoot the card like I said in the out jog so you're not looking to actually lose it in the middle you're just looking to out jog the card as you shoot it over and that's going to be the most difficult part so you open up the deck shoot it over so it comes in this out jog and this is probably uh you know 
This is probably a good distance, so it's not too much and it's not too closed in, but it's easy enough to where you can grab it and bring that back up to the top. So that is the basics. I'm going to leave it to you guys to practice a little bit more, but I'll go over it just one more time. So if you want to click away, you can. Let's say you have the card here. You're, pra you're uh, fluent in flicking the card over to the deck. You have it. And now you tell the spectators we're going to lose this in the middle. And this is when you kind of flick the cards over once the top has more or less cleared that bottom deck. And you'll kind of you'll you'll get the feel for it once you're doing this fast enough. Because that way when you flick it over, the top will automatically clamp it down on it. So you'll practice catching the card, and then essentially you're just leaving it out jogged, and then you do a double undercut. So I hope this video made sense for all you guys. And best of luck with practicing. Tell me how it goes. And as always, thanks for watching.